came to this talk to learn about some of the impacts of the Chernobyl nuclear accident that occurred 25 years ago. Why am I? Today? If you if you Google uh, Chernobyl accident, you'll find well over a million references. So it's it's almost overwhelming. Um, but but I wanted to condense it into a form and to 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 have this dialogue in, in the community here in Anchorage. The Chernobyl well, disaster is the result of an inadequate safety system. They're basically testing out uh, a new fuel, which burned the started burning the core a little bit hotter. As far as the uh, the insurance, you know, private company will take that risk. No private bank or in, insurance company will, will will support nuclear power, and nowhere. Right? It's it's the responsibility of the nation state. Um, and and the thing about Chernobyl is that. Uh, the, the estimated calculated the calculated cost at this point, from the numbers I saw, was 11 uh, trillion dollar cost, which uh, in which there's no one accountable at this point because collapse of the Soviet Union. How do these scientists determine 985,000 deaths as a result of Chernobyl? Based on medical data that were available to the scientists. As a UPAC biologist, it's the whole future generation is at risk uh, with each accident in which uh, there's emissions of uh, radioactive materials that are man-made into the atmosphere and also into the waters. Fukushima's the second number seven since the scale was created in 1990. Fukushima is supposed to be uh, good for 10,000 years. Uh, Fukushima reactor number one. Chernobyl was, uh, was, I think, about the same. It's also supposed to be uh, safe for 10,000 years. We should be requesting a uh, uh, complete and full monitoring of our, of our fish that we eat in order that we can make informed decisions on uh, the, the toxicity or the radioactivity of certain foods, specifically foods that might be eaten, other foods that are in this food chain uh, that we tend to have on our market and we got a few few more they finally took this uh, kid down to a, a nuclear medicine facility in, in seattle and did some extensive studies for them. and after they put it all together they tested and found out that this kid had been exposed in utero meaning in the uterus to weapons grade plutonium and what they figure is that the, his wife this native woman used to practice the old ways of going down to the beach and scouring for things to eat, and that she picked up something that was contaminated out in the middle of the ocean. It's going to take a, a community of, of people to be able to, to stand up to some of these corporations and these other entities that, that are, uh, are withholding information or are keeping us from uh, being able, able to make informed decisions for, for our future generations. I was excited for the dialogue afterwards. I, was, um, I think it's time that the discussions get started.